Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com, and welcome to my roast chicken dedicated to Julia Child. This is chicken roasted with lemon, garlic, herbs, served on watercress. And uh, this is from one of her cookbooks, Cooking with Master Chefs. Uh, she did this with Jeremiah Tower, a famous San Francisco chef. And if Julie Child had ever come over to my house for dinner, this is the recipe I would have cooked her. This is one of those kind of recipes that she just loved, and uh, every chef loves a good roast chicken. So here we go. All right, so we're going to start by prepping some garlic. I have six garlic cloves. I'm just going to crush them. I'm not going to peel them. Just give them a smash with a flat of your knife. I'm going to have three lemons. And then I got a big bunch of herbs. I got three kinds of thyme and some rosemary. And uh, rosemary, very important in this. But the other herbs, up to you. I like thyme. All right, so we're going to throw my garlic and my herbs in a bowl. I'm going to add the juice of the three lemons. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to make a, a kind of a wet rub for the chicken. And we're also going to stuff the chicken with the lemons and garlic and herbs. It's going to be amazing. All right, so the lemon's done. We're going to add some black pepper. Freshly ground, of course, and some salt. All right, and I'm going to give that a mix. And then the star of our show, a big roasting chicken. Julia loved big roasting chickens. She used to say all the time on our show, why don't the stores carry big chickens? Uh, people always want small chickens. This is a five-pound chicken, so find a big chicken. Julia was 6'2", you know that? So do not insult her memory with some little puny chicken. You want to be haunted by Julia Childs? I don't think so. All right, so we're going to throw the chicken in there. I'm going to rub it around in that amazingly aromatic lemon, herby, garlicky juice. And then we're going to stuff everything in there. Now you'll notice I only have four of the lemon halves in there. That's about all you're going to be able to work in there. So uh, if you're wondering what happened to the other lemon, the juice is there. All right, so everything's in. And by the way, one of my wing tips was missing. And the only reason I bring that up is because Julia used to call those nubbins, which I loved when she said that. So one of my nubbins was missing. Flip that over, leave it breast side down in the juice while you prep your roasting pan. I'm going to take one onion, and I'm just going to cut it in half, peel it, and cut it in some thick slices. And that's going to be like a, a little bed for our roast chicken. And that's going to get all sweet and caramelized and really make the sauce at the end even better. All right, on goes the chicken. If I had a nub in there, I would tuck it underneath, but I have no nubbin. So just tuck it in. See that? You take that tip and you go underneath, and that makes it sit nice and cook evenly. All right, we're going to take a little piece of butcher's string, and we're going to truss the back legs together. Nothing fancy here. All right, as you well know, Julia didn't like to fuss around too much. So don't worry about knots. Just tie the legs together. I'm going to drizzle over any of the juice from the bowl. All right, a little bit inside, a little bit over the top. And see, this is why I didn't worry about the pits. There, there they are. All right, we're almost ready for the oven. We're going to give it a little bath, a little drizzle of olive oil, and then a very generous sprinkling of kosher salt all over. We're going to preheat our oven to 400, and this is going to roast for 1 hour and 15 minutes at 400, okay? And that's going to give us a beautifully juicy bird. While it's roasting, I'm going to clean, wash, and spin dry two bunches of watercress. Set that aside. Now for a five-pound chicken, an hour, 15 minutes was perfect for me. You want to use a thermometer, go ahead. 170 is probably a good temperature to take it out at. And of course, we're going to let this rest. All right, I'm going to take the chicken out of the roasting pan, let it rest in a bowl. The bowl is going to collect the juices. Pour off the fat from your roasting pan. I'm going to add half a cup of chicken stock. Now that pan is still really hot. So with a spoon here, it's going to be really easy for me to rub off all those caramelized chicken and lemon and garlic and herb juices on the bottom. If you have a flame-proof pan, you can actually put a little heat under this. But uh, for me, that works just like that. I'm going to strain that. And make sure when you strain this to get the most delicious juices, you got to press with your spoon in that strainer. Because that last little, see that last teaspoon coming out? That was the most flavorful part. All right, I'm going to add the juice of half a lemon to this just to make it a little fresher. All right, some salt. And then Julia used walnut oil. I'm going to use hazelnut oil. But if you knew Julia, she would not be bothered by that. She would be fine with that. All right, make sure you add any juices that came out of the resting chicken. Add that in. And then we're going to carve our chicken. The leg and thigh comes off. Cut that in half. All right, I'm going to cut off the wings where they attach at the body. 
All right, the breast comes right off the carcass there. Cut the breast in half. And you know what? There's going to be a little meat attached. And why I didn't worry about getting so super close. And no, I'm not going to eat all that. I'm going to pick that off. And you're going to get like a nice, I don't know, cup, half a cup of shredded chicken. And we're going to throw that right in here. So we're going to take our watercrest. We're going to give a big ladle or two of that dressing, that sauce, that jus, whatever you want to call it. Throw in any of that picked chicken from the carcass. And that's going to just slightly wilt. You know those spinach salads you get with the warm dressing, how good those are? All right, that is sort of the same idea here. So we're going to take those beautifully crisp, slightly bitter, very peppery watercress greens. It's been tossed with our tart, aromatic, amazingly delicious lemon garlic herb jus, as I use the French terms in Julia's honor. All right, we're going to put that on our platter. I just roasted some new potatoes. All right, make it pretty. Our chicken parts go on top here. And then to finish off, a ladle or two of that beautiful jus or sauce or whatever you want to call it. Warm dressing. And that's it. So simple, so amazingly comforting and delicious. This is just, like I said, a, a dish Julia Childs loved. She did so many versions of this in different cookbooks and on her shows. And like I said, if she ever had come over to my house for dinner, this is what I would have made her. And uh, this recipe, by the way, my wife's favorite recipe, she actually found this recipe in the Julie Childs cookbook for me and uh, cooked this for me, I don't know, probably 20 years ago, and we've been eating it ever since. Anyway, that was for you, Julia, and I hope you all give that a try. All the ingredients are on the site, and as always, enjoy, and as Julia always said... So that's all for today on The French Chef. This is Julia Child. Bon appétit. <laughs>